Welcome back to the adventures of King Moon Moon Sun of Greece, the Han Chinese Zoroastrian amongst this shattered world. What are we doing today? Well, the committee have voted, and the way I'm changing the system is I'm going to pick three of the most upvoted comments to implement into the system. Maybe not immediately, maybe not they're not things that we have to do this episode, but maybe they're things that we have to keep in mind for the whole series. And I'll put those up on screen at the, all of the goals uh, cumulatively at the start of every episode, just to remind us what we have to do. So, if I remember, they will be edited up on the screen now, which they should be. So, the first one is, as you can see, no deformed children. And the reason for that is because we're playing in Sparta. Um, Spartans specifically wanted suitable, powerful, able-bodied heirs. So, uh, children that w will be for us, hunchbacks, or dwarfs, or inbred, that's the big one are unfortunately going to have to be left into the wilderness to die. We're not interested in those children. So essentially we've got elective succession, but of course we're playing Zoroastrians. So the caveat and tour of this is that a lot of our children are going to be coming out inbred, which means we're going to have to get off a large percentage of our kids. We oh, get off? Good God. We're going to have to get rid of <coughs> a large percentage, nobody, nobody listened to that back, of our kids and uh, chuck them in the ocean. So that's basically going to set the game up to be very, very difficult, especially the longer we go on and the more of our family gets into bread, the more chance we have of having that inbred trait and the less heirs we're going to get until eventually we might even end up with game over if we have no suitable um, sort of non-affected heirs there. The second one, and I really like this, this one as well, this is a really good idea, is that we should take random land here and there, like a diaspora of land, maybe some in Egypt, uh, maybe take Jerusalem, maybe take Rome, maybe take Alexandria, grant them to our kids, and just see what the, the dynasty do, uh, separate from us. Grant them independence and just let them go. Maybe we'll set them up with a few lands here and there so they're not going to get immediately steamrolled. And then we just see how well they do and what lands they forge for themselves. That's a really, really cool idea and I really, really like that. So we'll definitely be working on that as the series goes. The final one, maybe more in the short term. And I saw this came up on the first episode as well. Is we're going to be conquering Estonia. Why Estonia? Who knows? Maybe I feel like that's what this series is missing, honestly. I feel like we are missing a strategic stronghold in the country of Estonia, which I think is this one. Uh, yes, it is. What a guess. Uh, so we're going to be taking Estonia here. Uh, we could also go for the whole country of uh, Livonia, as it is called here, but but mainly Estonia. How are we going to get there? Um, I don't think we can just declare war, can we? Uh, we have Novella Castabella. So what we're going to do, let's not worry about trying to get claims on Greece, because Greece is a silly place and we're not interested in that. Let's go and get uh, Castabella up there in uh, Calavan and Narva. So that uh, we have a bit more of a short-term goal. So we're going to be conquering Estonia as well this episode, I imagine. What did we do last time? So we formed Greece itself, the Kingdom of Greece. Has that given us du jour claims to press? I would certainly hope so. Although, however, I can't see the little watermelon with the exclamation mark by it, is what I assume that is. So uh, why can't we press them? Probably because we don't have the right crown authority. No. Oh, no. Um, wait, we have everything. We fulfill everything. Or am I going crazy? Uh, no, we actually just don't have crown authority. So we're going to need to be feudal before we can press our claims on that. How far off are we of feudalism here? Um, all we need is uh, the Rainfall Stone Hill for in Spartan. Every time I keep thinking that's Spartan, but clearly it's Spartan. Um, shouldn't take too long to do, actually. We've got a decent amount of gold coming in now that we are a kingdom level tile, so that shouldn't be, shouldn't be too bad. Then we need absolute tribal organization, which is the easiest way to do it. Or we need legalism, noble customs, and majesty level 3. Um, that's going to be a lot, lot harder. That's sort of like the long term one. But with a good character, if we can just pass that final tr tribal organization there, we can do it. Because the only thing we're limited by then is obviously the building and the capital, which shouldn't take too long anyway. Everyone supports it. Boom. All right. Well, there's another Sefe. Eh? And we've fulfilled our ambition to become king. What's next on our list? Um, have a son? That seems appropriate. Like a suitable male heir doesn't seem like a bad idea. But obviously, we've got to worry about, obviously, the, the inbred trait, which we talked about at the start of the episode there. So let's be careful with that. Uh, they have approved high tribal organization. How long have we got to wait till we can take that one? Uh, it's 793, so what, 10 years? Oh, five years with these, of course, because they are um, not crown laws. Okay, then, team. We know what we've got to do now. We've got to build ourselves the... Uh, how do we even build the... Uh, excuse me? We don't even have the level one of the castle. Maybe it's mud huts we need to upgrade? Honestly, I have no idea. Normally you get the, um, the the sort of hill fort, don't you? But no, we don't actually have that. Maybe, maybe like log palisade, but that would strike me as walls. That's what a palisade is. It's just a wooden wall. Um, I'm going to go with mud huts and see what that does for us. We're going to have to spend some prestige on whether we like it or not here, so why not? Um, let's go with mud huts and see if that does anything for us. Maybe there's an issue with Flogie's tech mod, but I, I can't say I've ever really come across this before because I've never done something like this before. I guess we'll wait and see. 
Um, you would be a much better steward. In fact, my friend, I'm going to send you a gift and put you on the council to make you like us a lot bit more and have you oversee construction just because this is going to take ages. And as we've got a lot of prestige to spend, we might as well expedite the process as and where we can. I see what the issue is. So basically, because of our culture, we actually can't get the reinforced stone hill for um, because we are playing as Hans or Astrian here. So what we're going to do is have to metagame it a little bit. And this is kind of a bit of a problem with CK2 or CK2+. Plus. Not sure why, which one's causing it. What we're going to have to do is build um, a hill for elsewhere. Um, maybe in, maybe in Hellas, because that is um, what I think is supposed to be Athens. We'll flip over to there instead. We'll just make that our capital temporarily so that we can at least become feudal. Um, then we can always move back to uh, back to Spartan there. Uh, Spartan, sorry, my mistake. Back to Spartan after we've converted to feudal. But it's a little bit of a shame that we're having to do it with this weird method. You know, in hindsight, Athena is probably Athens, isn't it? My mistake. Anyway, um, that would be a much better capital. So I might actually want to build this one up instead. As long as it's Greek Hellenic, it shouldn't matter too much. Although this one doesn't have the ability to build the thing either. What the fuck am I missing? Um, certain ones can build hill forts, certain ones can't, and I don't know why that is. So if anybody knows, let me know. I've never actually come across it before, like I said, because I rarely play tribal anymore. Um, I rarely go from tribal to feudal, at least, let's put it that way. So, um, yeah, very strange. We haven't had any kids at all yet this entire game, so I flipped over to the seduction focus. Can we seduce our wife? No, we can't do it in this one. Can we seduce our concubine? No, we can't do that one. Um, not unless we put her aside first, obviously, but, I mean... Is that worth the risk? I mean, she's not going to go anywhere, is she? Uh, seduce. S seduce. Yao -er. Um, we're ill. Oh, that's probably why we can't do, do it. Okay, you know what? Take his concubine. Whatever. Uh, a little bit annoying then. Next time we get the option to treat our gout, I might go with the most risky treatment in the hopes that it just clears up instantly and we get disfigured or something instead. Uh, just because this is holding us back from a lot of events, we can't go hunting or anything like that either. So getting rid of this is my current priority, I think. As soon as I say that, we have a daughter. Moon Moon. Uh, Xiaolian. I'm not going to give her any special names because she's a daughter. We don't really give too much of a shit about her daughter. But she came out very, very neutral and average as well. So definitely not suitable to be an heir. However, maybe suitable to be a concubine later on. A Greek Liberation Revolt backed by uh, Stephanos here. One of our vassals. Lots of troops. They actually have a, a pretty hefty amount of troops. Luckily, most of ours are raising from Sparta. So this shouldn't be too difficult to uh, put this down before it spirals out of control. Let's get these boys together. Um... Squad up. Let's actually have Moon Moon leading troops again. I stopped him leading troops so we could try and have an air. Um, and so we could try and heal up a little bit. But you know what? This is fine. I think we'll be alright with this. So 2,500. Uh, let that... Oh, you know what? Uh, let, our, let our morale on the on the flanks ring, r r increase a little bit there. The troops don't combine. I think I'm craven. Oh, God. 10% die or keep hiding. Fuck it. Just let 10% die. They can reinforce. I'm sure that'll be fine. Um, actually, this is a lot of troops. Like, this is this is way more troops than I uh, I'd anticipated here. Um, the others are in Hellas. So, we're going to have to wait for these boys to die of... Oh, God, they're going to reinforce, really. 19th of April. We're going to get them on the 17th. Shit. Um, well, I didn't want to have to do it, but we're going to raise the tribal army. So, I'll keep those guys going. And we might as well go for some more um, invasions as well. The we'll start of the Viking Age, 793. So, a little bit earlier than you'd expect there. Alright then, team. Um, wow, they've still got a lot of men, eh? Bonus from the mountains in this province. We're attacking into mountains with almost equal amount of troops. Um, in hindsight, I'm going to let our troops reinforce just as much as they possibly can. There we go. They're attacking into us. Okay, that was foolish. Now, we should be able to win this fairly, fairly easily. Yep, no problems there. 25% war score. Hunt them down. Kill them off. What happened there? It wasn't our child, was it? No, who cares then? Alright, kill them dead. Can't believe they do something like this to me. I'm such a great commander and a brilliant liege who's definitely not going to try and revoke all their titles. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, what an idiot. Offer peace and force demands. There we go. Welcome to my prison. Oh, you fool. Oh, I should have kept the tribal arms up. You know, it doesn't matter. We don't want to attack anymore because we can't control the vassals we've got already. Uh, I think that would have been a, a, a losing battle. All right, friend. Uh, I can't take this off for you because I don't have title revocation. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, castrate you. Temple religious conversion. Ooh, Okay. You may go free if you convert. Absolutely. Convert and then leave. Uh, his sons, though. His sons aren't going to be the same religion as us. Hmm. It's a very temporary fix to a very permanent problem. They still hate me, which is to be expected. But you know what? We won't have another religious uprising or anything like that anytime soon. So, um, here you go. Uh, okay. The rest of you can stay there. Honestly, don't really care that much. They're not going to do anything. And honestly... Until we get feudal and get title revocation, we can't really do much either. So we've just got to keep them 
beaten down until we can actually start revoking their titles there. My daughter wife tells me she's pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? Doubt besets me. Um, let's not let it beset you. I think we might be okay. I trust her word for now. Um, my daughter has the flu. Fine, call a court physician. I don't really care about her that much, but she's better than nothing. Uh, we can imprison this dude. Chief Stephanos, what's he done wrong? This was the guy that... Oh, he converted to Zoroaster and then converted back. Well, I don't think that's very good at all. Get in the dungeon. Uh, you know what? Get out. I'm sick of your shit. And you know what? I'm sick of your shit as well. Get out. And you know what? You too, my friend. I've decided I'm implementing plan. Kill anyone who's not like me. Uh, because that's generally the best way to rule in these these dark, dark times. <laughs> okay, let's carry on with our hill fort. Because that's all that's holding us back at this stage, more or less. How long until we can pass that next law? Um, we've got to wait ourselves another... Oh my god, it costs 2,000 prestige. Holy shit, I forgot about that. Um, well, we have to. We might have to declare some wars in that case. Can we just vassalize them or something? I really don't want them. Oh, shit. Um, if we win, we get 100 prestige. So we've got to declare about 20 wars in that case. Um, right. Annoying, but not an issue. We can also obviously spend gold to make duchies as well, which would give us flat prestige. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, fine. You know what? Let's go and vassalize some more people then. Put these put these boys down. Um, should we just go tribal army? Actually raise that tribal army and bounce province to province to province. It's going to be an upfront prestige cost, but we're going to be able to just subjugate everybody. So I think we might actually do that. And it seems like a weird a weird plan, but you just trust me on this one. Okay, we need 500 prestige for it as well. Uh, retinues? We can't afford retinues. Holy shit. Uh, noobing, mixed hand, or hand skirmishes. Wow, we can get retinues this early on. So if you are a king level title, I shouldn't I shouldn't put myself down like that. Keeping that tribal armor up earlier then, in hindsight, would have been a much better idea. But I'm a fool, so don't worry about it too much. That's just how the, generally these series tend to go. Alright, let's get these boys together. Um, merge the troops. You stay at home and have a son. You've got more important things to worry about. We'll get a better commander on this that can die for us. Um, we'll get you, and that is my courtier, and not my concubine or wife or anything. So let's not worry about that. Okay, first things first, kill the men. Uh, excuse me. First things first. Kill the men. There we go. That should give us a decent amount of war score. 75%. With tribal rulers, you're generally fine that they'll lead their armies because they're limited by commanders. Oh, shit. My wife died. She gave me a son called Moon Moon Sun. Oh, my God. She gave me two sons. Or just twins. They could be fraternal twins, I suppose. Um, we're going to call you Sun because you are my son. We had another one who is ambidextrous. Wow, we're really not inheriting m many traits here, eh? Uh, sure, we go for that one. You are going to be called, uh, Sun 2, Electric Boogaloo. I fulfilled the ambition to have a Sun, well, I had, I had two, technically, so I should get double points for that, right? No? Is that not how that works? Uh, Grubinair would give us 20% fertility, so that's not a bad plan. Get married would give us 25 piety, so that's just free piety. We can be exalted among men. We've got a long time before we get to that. Anything that gives prestige would be ideal. Develop personal combat. Uh, we'll get married we can fulfill instantly by simply marrying a concubine. So let's do that. We're into marriage. Her to me. Boom. There we go. It's everyone's concern. Right. That one's cleared. Let's go ahead and go for that personal combat just because that gives us 25 prestige. We could also try and have 10 kids. That would give us 100 prestige. I think this one's probably going to be fulfilled before that. So we go for this one first. Um, any that really just outboost up this prestige is, is definitely something we want. If we lead troops, we get more prestige, which we could do now, but we haven't really got a good son. You know, none have got Immaculate, or Brilliant, or Super Strength, whatever the hell it was called. Uh, prolific, that one we didn't actually take a Strength one. So, until we get that, I'm not going to be content with the heirs we've got. Thank you for that. I'll take your, uh, I'll take your line there. We're just going to have to keep doing this over and over and over. Does your claims, which obviously we can't do, uh, let's just subjugate them, I guess. Ooh, we could push it for our, our vassal. Um... What would that do for us? Nothing. We get nothing. So you know what? You're going to get subjugated instead, my friend. And I'm just going to subjugate basically all of Greece now. And if we get any revolts, we'll just have to deal with them as and when they come along. Right. Squad up. Let's do it. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that one. 670 prestige. We're going to do this by the end of the episode. We are becoming feudal this episode. That way we can start bringing the empire together and actually start work on that. The original suggestion of the... Uh, the Chinese Byzantine Imperial Empire. Um, that was a little bit redundant. You know what? Let's just subjugate another guy and not worry about it. Oh god, that's really bad. Smallpox and gout. We're at minus five health now. Um, shit. Okay. Uh, court physician. Hey. Uh, do you want to? Does not have successful treatment. Has not been treated recently. I don't. I'm gonna have to disagree. Okay. There we go. My life is in your hands. Please save my life. Oh, this is treatment was successful, but I paid a heavy price. Okay. 
We got disfigured and severely injured. We lost smallpox and gout, though. Um, severely injured is a minus two, so that's definitely a step in the right direction. Kind of what I was hoping for anyway. Now, obviously, it's going to make our daughter concubine wives hate me a little bit more, but that's fine. You know what? Doesn't matter too much. We've got plenty more where that came from. Actually, potentially infinite daughter wives, assuming we keep one alive at all times. I think we'll be fine. Interesting. I didn't even think we could do that, given that our, our cultural and government and religious types, I didn't know the grand tournaments were available to us, but why not? That would give us some free prestige. Can we fight them ourselves? That's the real question, because if we could do that, that would definitely help out the prestige. So we're halfway there now. Um, that didn't take too long at all. And we're going to train gain trade Falconer, which I think gives prestige, isn't it? Oh, no, just martial intrigue and diplomacy. Well, I can't really complain about that. Oh, we're taking my place amongst the fighters. Definitely. Personal combat is eight. We are severely injured, which is a shame. Oh, I lost one stewardship. But you know what? That's that's a minor uh, minor issue there. We gain one intrigue instead. That's probably better. And some free troops. Um, oh, shit. My brilliance is diminished. Oh, God. We've gone from being a brilliant strategist to just a skilled tactician now. That's really bad. Wow. Okay. Um, he was crowned the winner. I don't think we got... Fuck all, did we? No, nothing. Well, that was a waste of time. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, we did lose the trait. Severely injured, though. So that's something in the right direction. And it's going to improve the mood of the factions there. Of course, I'll come carousing. Why not try and make ourselves some Greek friends? So we could do with a little bit of extra cash in there to be able to build up our... Mainly that, that hill fort in Hellas. So let's go raiding. And I don't know how much gold these guys will have got. They say, Jesus, they've got a lot of troops here. I suppose that's their garrison and their levy. So, you know, I guess it's not that much in hindsight. Next ambition. Um, apparently we can't get personal combat anymore. Okay, fair enough. Um, why don't we go for have 10 children? That's always possible. Uh, we're at 7 now, so that's not too difficult. Besides the domain gives us 1 stewardship. Commemora gives us 500 prestige. Win a war gives us 50 prestige and 1 marshal. Ah, I should probably just do that and subjugate someone. And just get the free prestige there. I really hope we can do it before this character dies. Otherwise, it's going to cost us, um, a significant amount of progress. Like a huge amount of progress. Take some gold if you don't mind. Thank you very much. It wasn't a huge amount of gold, but we also got the chief in prison there, which of course we can ransom off for a little bit of extra gold. Uh, let's get rid of you for 10 gold and you for 70 gold. Shit. Okay, fair enough. We're complaining too much about that. Thank you very much. And you as well. That's 331. So we should be able to go up to that next level of Hillfort when this one's finished. Then we're more or less ready to actually try and uh, become feudal. We might become the first feudal ruler. Oh shit. The monument promised by this dude. It's finished. Upon unveiling, a statue of yourself is revealed and you notice the crowd smiling, giving a round of applause, gain 200 prestige. Only 800 more and we've done it. You know what? This is really, really possible. It's actually like a little bit tantalizing because there is also that ge the genuine possibility of us dropping down dead anytime soon. So let's be careful here. I think it's time we took the prize in Greece, Constantinople, which we've just left there. We have a claim on it because we fabricated it last episode. So let's absolutely go and grab that one up right now. We could always move our capital over there, but it would make it a little harder to defend against rebellions and things. And then we'll sort of aim for a contiguous border from um, Sparta to Constantinople there. We should be relatively well off at that point, because Constantinople, the Hagia Sophia, still exists. So we can potentially, obviously we can't use the Hagia Sophia, but, the, but all the other buildings in that barony still exist. So that's going to give us a decent amount of gold. You know, it's got like, these mud huts, log palisades, shipyard level 4, giving us 30 galleys. Like, that's huge. 30 galleys at this stage of the game is pretty ridiculous. So that's definitely where we want to be focusing on right now. Let's just march over there and steal it. Why not? Call for my court position now. That's one of my future daughter wives you're talking about there, game. Um, does this dude not have any men? He's just not raising them. Uh, oh, there they are. Right, I was going to say. Nice. Okay, so he's only got 700 men actually defending the province. We should probably just kill off the last of his troops as well there, because we can. That's those guys done for. And now we've just got to deal with garrison, which is 700 men. This shouldn't take too long. And the war is over. Just like that. Thank you. I will take Constantinople. Boom. And we've actually got that for ourselves. So I'm going to be using the same tactic that we've used before. If we grant these guys independence when they die, the land reverts back to us. So we'll definitely do that one. There we go. And that has worked in every province so far, just in case you're wondering. So like, um, Hellas is, is as you can see there. Any, any with this shield denote uh, Zoroastrian, whereas something like this would denote Christian. So all of these have flipped back to being Zoroastrian. Um... You know, besides the ones that we don't actually own because I can't grant those independence. But after that, what's, we might actually keep this one for ourselves because it's that good. And in fact, oh, I thought we got it back all automatically. I thought that was actually just the flag of Constantinople. But no, it's, it's the flag of that barony. Um, what do we want to do now? 1,573. Oh, my God. Um, What gives... Change of province's culture? Uh, it's too difficult and we have no control over that. We want to rule for 20 years. We'd have to be 72. Maybe not. Um, Get a nickname? 
That could be possible. 100 prestige, 1 diplomacy. That seems pretty easy. Yeah, let's go for let's go for have a nickname because the game will direct us into getting a nickname at this stage just because we've taken that ambition. So that's just some free prestige for us there. Let's continue and try and link up our borders from Constantinople to Sparta. All right, troops. Let's go. And there we go. Just as I said, we've re-inherited uh, what we're now calling Atashkada. Oh, is Atashkada the name for the, the Persian name for a a temple, I assume? Do you want to keep this for ourselves? Well, honestly, even though we're not getting many taxes from it, the 30 boats is a really, really nice outcome there. So we, when it reinforces, because it's a wrong type of holding, we do lose a percentage of that. It's around half. Um, so although it's not all 30 boats, 18 boats up from none, that's incredible. Like, that's a really good gain for us because it means we can go anywhere. We could go raid Rome. We could go raid, um, where else has any economy? Oh my god, nowhere. You know what? Let's not go raiding to a silly place. Let's just carry on with our war. Okay, so this war is slightly bigger, so we might actually want to keep an eye on this. Now, we are going to subjugate him, though, so that's going to give us a pretty hefty amount of land, so thank you for that. Um, this duchy, this county. So we want to take this duchy and take the whole thing. This is going to make our, our empire significantly larger. Now, what we do have to worry about, though, is obviously this guy is going to be a very powerful vassal relative to everyone else because he does have... Uh, the, the ducal uh, title and, of course, uh, three counties under him as well. And he's their religion and culture, so they will join him in wars, whereas, obviously, ours won't because they hate us and want us dead, which is very rude, seeing as we are benevolent and have joined together this realm under our glorious rule. But, you know, that's just CK2, I suppose. Merge just like to do units, uh, if you don't mind. I would very much like to do that. Let's move in. Kill them dead. These are best commanders. No, they are not. Don't lie to me, game. There we go. All right. We should be safe with that attack. It was a little bit risky because, obviously, we're attacking into hills there, but we were fine. 48%. Uh, let's counter siege this. We'll just assault it down very quickly. Chase the last of the troops down. Hit the capital. And that's basically how I'm just doing these wars. Kill the troops, hit the capital, and then that's it. Seeing as that's earning us more than enough war skills. So we've got 75% there. So now all we've got to do is take the capital and we win. Herbad Gang Fu will pay for this. I don't know why. What's he done wrong? Probably a horrible man. Okay, uh, a council are not necessarily consisting of loyalists there, so that's not something I really want to do, or at least risk, until we can uh, fix that one in a second. This war should be over in no time. In no time. There we go. Oh, god damn it. So close. Um, release them. Lose the trait greedy. I wouldn't mind losing the trait greedy, because I think that's a vassal opinion negative in this, isn't it? Yeah, minus five. I will try and lose that. We didn't. Try and imprison that man. Oh, shit. There we go. That worked pretty well. Thank you very much. Uh, this guy hates me. Declare war. Defeated me. Wants to see it on the council. You know what? I might be able to find something for you, pal. 18 diplomacy. You know what? Absolutely. You can have a, a seat on the council with that. There you go, my friend. Uh, I'm also going to send you a gift just to keep you a little bit on side because you are quite a powerful vassal. Uh, there we go. Six opinion. And you can go fabricate claims on Estonia. And how... What's the chance of that? I mean, 15% yearly. Oh, God. We've got to wait so long for that to happen. That's like seven years. Okay, team. Uh, what's next? We've got to take Calliopoli, we've got to take Adrianopoli, and we've got to take Fulin? Oh, that's Constantinople, but we've renamed it, eh? Okay, fair enough. We own a nickname. What are we called? The Accursed. Excellent. Well, that's not great at all, but it's given us enough prestige to be able to pass that tribal organization, which is absolutely excellent. Uh, let's go for... I know, Exalted Amongst Men. Do we lose the prestige for trying it? I'm not sure whether we just need it or whether we, we actually spend the prestige to push through that law. But we'll give it a go after we finish this uh, little bit of sieging that we've got left to do. So it's only these two provinces left. And then we've connected all of our borders up. You know what? Greece is going to look pretty nice by the time we're done here. Uh, oh my god, we actually got a claim on Estonia as well. Nice. I'll take it. Sweet. I'm so glad we're actually fulfilling one of our goals this episode. You spoke, committee. This is what you wanted. Uh, don't ask me why, but apparently Estonia is ripe for the picking this time of year. All right, let's go feudal. So we have one, two, three, four, five supporters, including ourselves at six. One opponent. Absolutely, let's do that. Um, I smell profit. Sure, why not? So we can be rewarding. Come on. There we go. They've approved the institution. What else do we need? All we need now is the reinforced stone hill fort in the village of Spartan or wherever our capital is. So we'll move that in a second. All right, then. Uh, let's go for this one. Seriously, 1,200 days? Jesus. Um, let's get him on the council on his deck. He does have a slightly faster build modifier there. And have a gift. If you can speed things up, that would be nice. You can have a gift as well. Why don't you like me? I'm not sure. You liked me a second ago. What's up now? Uh, oh, tribal organization, obviously. Of course he won't like that. Okay. How long is this going to take? Not long now. Uh, 28th of October, 8.05. Two years. Then we're going fuel. 
Let's compose our second book. Did we ever compose? Oh, yeah, we got Feeling Around, which was incredible. Um, I'm going to go for the intricacies of relationships because there are books out of this that increase sex appeal, fertility, diplomacy. So any of those will be very helpful for our next character and even for our current character, to be honest with you, seeing as we haven't really got any decent heirs at all. Um, let's better and make our mind. We'll get ourselves a maidservant lover, giving us entry plus one plot, discovery chance plus 10%. And we can finally find out who's trying to damn kill us. Um... This guy's trying to kidnap me, so excuse me, sir, can you uh, end your plot? No? Excuse me, sir, can you get in my prison? Yes, I appreciate that, and now you can die. Thank you. Um, oh. Oh. Um. Well, I guess you can just stay in my oubliette then, as, as my kind guest. Welcome. Uh, who else is trying to... This guy, Bo Boethios, is trying to incite a Greek revolt. Well, I don't particularly like that, Boethios, so uh, you can get my prison as well. And uh, can we execute this dude? No? Uh, well, guess what? You two are gonna meet my other friend in the Oubliette. Unbelievable. We've actually got claims on the whole of Estonia now. Or the, or the Duchy of Estonia, which is all there is in CK2. But, that's great. <laughs> that's, that's actually unbelievable. So when we've got some gold, why don't we actually go and take that and tick that one off of the list before the end of the episode? And it's ready. Reinforced Stonehill Fort has been built in the village of Hellas. Make capital. Boom. Holy shit, it worked. Adopt. Feudalism. He's done it. Oh, well, that was a little bit without fanfare, eh? King Moon Moon Sun, the Accursed of Greece. What comes next? I think we all know what comes next. Time to revoke some titles. What do we need for that? Um, just got to wait two years. Sure. Let's go for uh, legal system. I think Roman law would be a slight improvement. Oh, you know what? Absolutely it would not because all our vassals are tribal. Um, they will flip to feudal over time, but... Whether or not in the short term, it's better to keep that plus 20 opinion. Actually, I think I prefer that. Um, we'll wait and see what happens. We'll, we'll just see which way the law goes. It's kind of a positive and a negative. Obviously, we want to head in this direction anyway. So, this would be a nice stepping stone towards that. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It doesn't matter too much because we're still going to keep that plus 20 opinion. I hope we'll be friends. Me too. Put them up. Um, I'm not even angry anymore. Friends forever. We're carousing, apparently. So, let's give away some land, which apparently we, we don't want or don't want to uh, keep. What do we want? Not want to keep. That's the real question. Um, Constantinople. Let's upgrade it to an actual city and make that the capital. I think that's a much, much better idea. Why don't we get ourselves crowned before we go and invade Estonia? Any high-ranking priest? Yep, that'll do. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That'll give us prestige, piety, and it will make our vassals like us a lot more as well because we are a crowned liege of Greece. Um, a hand scholar by the name of Jinbi is apparently requesting an audience. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, to learning. The Confucian Classics, Genthra Erudite, or Surgery and Poetry. Um, you know what? I feel like Erudite isn't a bad plan, so we'll give him that one instead. This kid's not terrible. It's a shame he hasn't got any decent traits whatsoever. Oh my god, they're going to interrupt my coronation with a with an uprising? Oh, Jesus, we also don't have any troops because we're so far over our domain limit. Um, Hang on a second, uprising. Can I just get coronated first so that we can... Uh, 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 is that genuinely just stopped my coronation entirely? God damn it. Okay. The only reason I wanted to get coronated is because I want to dish out some land. And I can't dish out land because nobody likes me because I'm not coronated. Um, let's just put her on the council. Whatever she'll do. Can I give out some land now? Grant land a title. Uh, Metheny. I'm just going to give it to him. Fuck the council. Uh, you can join. Oh, the council of discontent because I'm a tyrant. Yeah, there we go. Hilarious. Hey, fuck yourselves. It's to make you guys like me more. This is one of the stupid mechanics of, of CK2 in my opinion. That I'm not a big fan of, but... Kind of got to be done. Um, I might have to do it again and it piss off some more people. But, I mean, what can you do at this point? It's either that or we lose to this rebellion. Um, what can I do? That's the real question. I'm going to have to give away the Temple of Constantinople. I don't have a choice. Um, otherwise, we're not going to have any troops because we're so far over our domain limit. Even now, we don't have any troops at all because we are uh, we have wrong holding types. Which is great. We could be a little bit screwed here. Um, tribal army? We kind of erased the tribal army. Uh call in allies. They'll join me. Oh, some actually might. Okay, that's pretty good. Please join me. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, right, let's actually raise our own troops and just sit them around inside our borders reinforcing for a while. Um, if you guys all want to join this unit here, it might not be too bad. Might not be too bad. Um, it's looking pretty bad, but it might not be completely terrible as long as they reinforce quick enough. The brightest mine shall be at your disposal. Oh, we're, we're looking for a rare artifact. Sweet. Okay, so you can have some uh, tech spread, right? I don't really care about that too much at this stage of the game. Um... Guys, you're going to have to reinforce much faster. Thank you. 
I could do this all night. Maybe I should. Uh, again, try stress, but raise the quality of our work. Why not? What the fuck am I supposed to do about this, honestly? You may be screwed here. Like, this may be really, really bad. Yep, this war is over because I have absolutely no troops and I can't do anything about it. Sure, there you go. Just take... What is it? What do you want? Um, oh, fuck me. Really? He's taking everything in the kingdom of Bulgaria. Well, I don't really care about that anyway. There you go. You enjoy that. Whatever. Okay. Oh, we also apparently lost this one. I'm not sure how because that's clearly not part of Bulgaria. Um, oh, they were vassals, I assume, under under the, the guy that had that title. Right. That's a little bit annoying because it means we've, we've lost our nice borders. But there we go. Damn it. Okay. Um, I've got a lot to fix, haven't I? Like, way too much to fix. We'll leave it there for today. Estonia will wait, but we do have the claims on it, and that's not going anywhere. Thank you for watching. Leave your suggestions for next episode in the comments below, and we will vote on what comes next. This is worrying. We're not in a great situation. If we'd have got crowned then, we would have been fine, but that's just the game bullshitting us, to be completely honest with you. Shout out to my top tier, highest of the high crazy patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Hey Dog, Gabriel Manders, Croesus, Josh and Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, James Ogilvy, Escape and Jackson Woodman for their support, other ridiculous tiers, and on the a little bit more sane and normal tiers of the Patreon backing, we have Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Matonic, Necrophilin, Felix Dill, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noblesse, Quit Lutchley, Zara Even, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Yoran DeVries, Euphrates, Don Honey 2 and 7, Jordan Campbell, Asaro, and Sidini, and of course, everybody else over there as well. Thank you for your support. I'm interested to see what you guys come up with for next episode. I have things to tidy up, which I'll do in between episodes, but it won't be anything important, so don't worry about it too much.